Did you get up today? Hello, chat. Hey there. Hi. Hello. So at some point in the last two days, my mic reset again. So I guess we didn't find the issue yet. So uh, get ready to get fucking ear bombed at some random point in the stream. I've I've changed a million things. Don't even don't Duh, even start. I can't hear you. Stream is too dark. Turn some lights on. What? The worst The worst part is I have a compressor. Like I have a thing that's supposed to stop it from blowing out your ears. Not an air compressor, you dink. Help, help, I'm being compressed. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so get ready for that. Get ready for your ears to get fucking annihilated at random. Um, get fucked. At this point, I have no idea what it, what it could be. I have no clue whatsoever. I've Googled around for like 45 minutes. I have like, I have everything checked. Like, it's uh, annoying. I have not swapped. The last thing I'm checking is hardware.
because my worry is that it's like some kind of power surge to the USB port. And if that's the case, then I am, I just, I would rather not have to address it in my brain yet. I'd rather kind of head in the sand it for a little bit until I have like the capacity to actually <laughs> fucking deal with that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be just dumb software. We're running uh, OBS in admin mode today. We're running it in admin mode today and I'm gonna run it with Discord disabled or turned off. One, any French who are upset with the current protests are just closeted Nazis. The <laughs> same ones that sided with them when they invaded Paris. Two, I am on edge because I found an email from Disney and now I am desperate to get in contact with the guy so I can finally quit this job. Three. Watch three! Three. Now, um, I already have a thousand watt gold rated PSU. We already got the big boy. I'd have gone 1200. Are you? You're out of your fucking mind. What actually changes, it just resets to its Windows default settings. Um, the thing is like this thing can detect like a fucking bug flying around upstairs. Re, 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 world. Twelve hundred, like the amount of guys who have been through your mom. Got him. Is the Windows sound setting? No, they don't actually change in Windows. Is the thing. If I unplug it and plug it back in, the settings get reapplied. It just stops listening to settings, and functions as default. Which is why I'm worried that it's like a, a USB port or a hardware issue. Did the settings say anything racist lately? God, shut the fuck up. What? Five, make sure I'm on the list. Six, I recommend at least getting a new pillow and made of bamboo foam. It's worked wonders for my neck. Seven, no, 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 no.
you donate more TTS will read longer? Stop. Don't lie to them. What are the specs for the new battle station? Who's got the who's got the PC part picker link? Where is it at? Politically correct parts don't exist. God, I fucking hate you. Dutch government going for a ban on loot boxes. Yeah, boy. Oh God! Eight. Something going forward, you should put your PC specs in your channel bio, as that will also make you appear more professional, if nothing else. Nine. And no 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 Are you ready for Dirt no, the PC I fucked Part up. Diver? I fucked up my go live notification. We're doing RimWorld not today. Er, not Dave the Diver today. Loot bags, now the newest, <laughs> newest craze. Loot bags, boys. Soon to be followed by the loot sack. Yeah, that's the problem, Will. All the issues are from like 10 years ago on different operating systems. You guys are just gonna have to make sure to stream and chat if it happens so that I notice quickly and can fix it. Just everybody, like, everybody, Pete, like, <laughs> shell shock, prepare yourself to get ass blasted by noise. It's like, everybody prepare yourselves mentally. Just get utterly fucking owned. <laughs> also, I don't know how long this stream is gonna be. Uh, my neck is still pretty sore. It's just not fucked up like it was yesterday. So I don't know how how long the stream will be. There, no. I blew my neck out and then I took a shit. And I <laughs> cried on the toilet. You know, you know what I need? I want to show you guys what I need. Hold up. Hold up, dog. Oh, fuck. Oh, I need one of these. Yeah. Dude, I want to get one of these wedge pillows. 72 to <laughs> Words on the 4080. It's a four thousand dollar Canadian PC. Those aren't for sleeping? Bruh. Bruh, this shit is gonna be perfect for my apnea. 
We're, uh... Yeah, $72 for a triangle. Oof. They hurt dirt? Those are for fucking? Fuck off! Like, I know, but also, I'ma use them for sleeping. Oh, look at this one! Oh, this one is dope! Dude, what the hell? Look at this! They made... What is the point of this? They made a whole chair! They just made a chair! What the fuck? They just made a fucked up chair! <laughs> You can make a pillow fort with them. I know that these, I love how these are all for fucking and we're just talking about making pillow forts. Buy seven of them and you can have an incredibly overpriced chair that'll make your spine issues worse. Ugh. I need to just buy more good pillows. That's what I need. The best fucking either starts or ends with making a pillow fort to do it in. True! Buy a body pillow? I have one. It has no cover. It's worn out. It's all worn out. Why the fuck would they be for fucking? So that your back doesn't hurt while you're getting plowed. You fucking idiot. any links of how you use a wedge pillow for fucking. It's pretty obvious how you use a wedge pillow for fucking. I regularly touch grass and I don't have back problems. Seems like y'all have a skill issue. Here's the problem, okay? Jiggle egg is that then, <laughs> then we'd be you. And that sounds awful. Oh, thanks for the follow, Barador. I appreciate it, buddy. Duh. You haven't lived till you got the poor pies chicken docky. Oh my god, hold on. Is that- hold on. Image. Chicken drumstick body pillow. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why the fuck does that exist? I don't know, but I want one! I want a chicken drumstick body pillow. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> as soon as someone mentioned it, I knew it would be, oh my God. Yeah. 
My eyes are watering from this obscenity. <laughs> okay, this one's really cute. Hello. Quick, someone clipped the der breathing ASMR while looking at chicken drumstick pillars. <laughs> Discord tech support stream, let's go. I have now disabled every other microphone on my computer. And we will see if that helps. It didn't, I still hear your voice. I, okay. I know this is a weird problem. I am not hitting a random key combo that's switching it. I was literally touching nothing. I was literally just sitting at my desk. I know I'm gonna have to get Windows Event Viewer. Ah! Event Viewer, what happened? Insert deep breathing here. Also give porn. Event Viewer is not going to give me anything fucking useful. Never gives anyone anything useful. I got to figure out to get to the screen where it lets me look at what was trying to use my audio devices. But I've lost it! Does OBS have logs? I don't know. I, I, I would assume it does. New computer going great? Listen. Ah! I have to find the fucking window that shows me... More sound settings. Is this it?
Fuck. I can't find it. I used to know where it was. <sighs> Whatever. Maybe we'll just sit here until it happens again. It seems to happen fairly often. Oh, God. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not happy about it. Tech support stream. Ah, speaking of which, I gotta figure out where to get to the option uh, that lets me see what stuff was trying to use my audio device and I can't remember where that was fuck Why can I not find this? I was just staring at it earlier in the stream. Am I a fucking idiot? There's a way to get a list of every program that's been trying to use your sound device. And I can't find it. I'm aware it's in Windows settings. I don't know where in Windows settings it is. I have lost it. Privacy, microphone, all right. Recent activity. Dude, it looks like the Windows host process kicks in and then it fucks up. I know Windows host process is a million things, which means that ain't helpful. Fuck. Well, that's pissy and shitty. Can you just turn off everything not OBS? Bruh! Shut up, Thelenios. Narrator is off. That is unchecked, digital. And Discord is off today. We thought it was Discord causing it. Where's the game? Uh, Sergoy, have you not noticed what the fuck we're doing right now? No, I didn't. I'm actually molding. I was cleaning my room. Listen, we're doing tech support. 
There could be an NVIDIA broadcast installed and turned on. What the fuck? Don't seem to have it on my computer. It was the Beyond Launcher. One of the few times the Beyond Launcher is not running. It'd be easy on Discord with nerds in a shared screen. Yeah. Well, that's not what we're doing right now, so. In that case, check this. Stop playing. There we go. Uh, it never says it's in use. Uh, my device is not being listened to. No Windows Game Bar. What the fuck is this shit? What is this? What the fuck? Turn off game bar. Xbox game bar. Oh God, Xbox game bar. Might require a reboot. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I already have I already have it set so that it can't use the device. Well, it's using the device anyway. What the fuck? And you can't use Xbox Xbox shit without the game bar. I'm gonna shit my pants. <sighs> Whatever. Listen. Let's just go play RimWorld. Fuck it. I removed permissions for everything, including Discord. There's literally, like, only one thing has permission to use it, and that is OBS. We did that long ago. I did that, like, two days ago. <clears throat> We're going back to the rim. Hope you guys are ready for your ears to get blown out again. It blows up again. Check these logs. If you ever have oh God. Problems. Go to the OBS forum. There's a lot of great people there. There's a lot yeah, of people yeah, yeah. to have a con Make sure yeah, you include that yeah, in the yeah, log. Yeah. Go to help. Go to show log files. Help? Show log files. Hello? Go to help. Duh. Shut up. Problem is, I, I'm. It's got to be something that's a. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why the 
fuck? What the fuck? It might have actually been settings moving around in OBS. Maybe. This is not that useful for me. Fuck. I can't fucking read any of this. Did you see death? No, not there. Mike Ox update settings. Oh, is this it? I think that's it. It looks like it might have tried to kick over to the webcam. Pulls off mask of the screaming banshee Fred, Velma, Shaggy and Daphne at the same time. It was old lady OBS this uh, whole time. Okay. So I turned, I've turned off all the other audio devices. Just unplug the webcam for today. No, I've already disabled it in the Windows. Uh, now that I've disabled it in the Windows Manager, we'll see if it happens again. I have disabled the device. Just turn off OBS, exactly. Does the webcam itself still work when I turn on? Yeah, the video still works. Well, we'll just see what happens to you guys. Here's the thing, I don't hear it, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> and no, it is not another random mic. It is my AT2020. The AT2020 is the only thing sensitive enough to pick up voices from upstairs. That is true. Not making rent will bother me. Like, it's only the, the only the AT2020 is, could viably do that shit. Chat, we did it. We got meals. I know exactly what my webcam microphone sounds like. Bitcoin. That part just uh, blah, blah, blah. It sounds like quiet ass. <laughs> Ned's missing a leg. He's missing a leg, boys. Let's give him a peg leg. There are no medical beds available. That's fine. We just wait until he's asleep. 
He's got a dumb torch. We need a Twitch toolkit. No! I really didn't feel like doing Twitch toolkit. I didn't have enough energy. Twitch toolkit is tiring. I don't want the rats! Got a lot of free energy from Boom Rat to be a Twitch toolkit. <laughs> Do more beer, chat. Beer, 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 beer. Beer. All right, we are slowly picking up stone blocks, which is good. See you, Sir Gully. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Just slowly breaking down all the stone chunks that are nearby. <sighs> and then we'll turn them into defenses. Like that. Bam, 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 bam. Convert. I do have one warden. It's Sigma. Holy shit, he is fucked up. Oh, that's not very good. I'm pretty sure that bear is plotting something. It might be. How's our Devil Strand doing? 40%! Big pogs. Oh shit, Nathan's on the pawn list. How much longer on the Thunder ASMR? I have no idea. Oh, four more days. Did Ned get his leg? Ned did get his peg leg. What is this? He lost a leg. He now has a peg leg. Congratulations. 
<laughs> what the fuck, you bitch? Listen, we're doing our best here, okay? You don't even have to work. 90% of your job is just to give this stupid tree grass. You fucking baby. Look at that. Five grass. That's it. This is all I need you for. Focus effect. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> it sped up. Look at all that corn. Ned and Sigma, get in the shuttle. Hey, Fenron, what's up, buddy? Wood buildings, you say? Yes. We are tribal. We are very stuck with wood buildings. Make stone buildings, we're slowly getting there. Problem is, Lambzak is busy making us all dusters because that last heat wave where we had to trade the duster back and forth was really brutal. So now we have excellent cloth dusters. Cloth dusters aren't incredible. But we'll make them last until Devil Strand. live in a cave I my dudes get mad if I mine which is why we also have very little steel Made a religion that worships rocks? No, we worship the sanctity of nature. We don't want to carve up Mother Earth.
So I, I sent off two pawns to work for six days, and I got a I got a cool psychic shirt for it for Ned. Ned's gonna be my side caster. My brain so big, big brain. Oh yeah, uh, another note. Another reminder, I don't know how long I'm gonna stream because my neck fucking hurts. And I'm kind of sitting like an idiot. And it's making my back hurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Posture check. Dude, none of our guys have any weapons. What the fuck? That's it. We got to take out the bear. It fucked up our guys. It's a powerful bear. Run. You got a tough brawler. Tanking them hits. Can only treat these one wound at a time. They were so severe. Jesus. Yeah, you guys stay in bed and get those treated. Cause that's fucked up. I really hate having to deal with map predators when all you have are bows and low shooting pawns and no armor, no armor. So brutal. 
Hey, what's Elon Musk tweeting about today? What's this fucking moron tweeting? Who cares? Listen, I love making fun of Elon Musk. He hasn't tweeted anything today. What a loser. Never mind, he's been replying to like hundreds of posts today. One more spy family? Dude! We're getting a suicide squad, Isekai. Huh? You heard me. We're getting a suicide squad, Isekai. You fucking heard me, dog. That dumb bitch wants attention, that's the issue. He does want attention, and he is a stinky, poopy man. But, but it is really funny seeing him get owned. Like, really funny. back and then's dead he's not dead he is away we contracted him out for work nobody died we contracted him out for work sold him into slavery no we got a shirt for it I'm putting ointment on my forehead. Get some ointment for your forehead. It's an Alex Jones brain supplement. It's gonna make me smarter. Put some in my ear. Yes, one of his supplements is called Brain Force. It's very funny. Brain Force now at 10% less lead. Can't have that much less lead. If there was that much less lead, they might stop voting Republican. got those potatoes right as they were going bad. Nice. 
We're spending a lot of our time right now just uh just surviving, just living, just chilling, chilling and illin. Just chilling and or illing. While we wait for our other two pawns to come back. When did the smoothing job start? I don't think we're going to be living inside a mountain. So, might not get that many. It's going to be a lot of work to bring all this wood in. None of this is ready yet. I thought it was. Lambzak got fucked up. Holy moly. Look at all them lockers. I just ate three very suspicious tacos. I hope I survive. Why would you do that when you could just not do that? <laughs> that's my, that's my go. Cool. Why didn't, why not just not? Don't eat sus tacos. You idiot. Devil Strands, 47% of the way there. Hoggies. Eating plenty of truck tacos and never had an issue. I'll be honest, if, as long as you're eating cooked food, it's usually not a problem. Like, it has to be pretty specific to get you sick if it's been cooked. That said, leave it to Nathan to eat old ass shit and then die. Up until now, I've only been using 5% of my power. Chat, McDonald's is doing two for one Big Macs. Oh no. Oh, does this stack with other promos? Hold on. It does. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's fucked up. 
So sad Dare didn't get 40 sausage McMuffins. That would have been fucking just. You mean the, the 14? The 14 sausage McMuffin meme? That was so fucking funny. No, I'm not ordering food. I don't have enough money this month to order food. <laughs> it would have to be like an insane deal where I'm putting food in the fridge for later in order for me to order food. Have a small fry as a treat. <laughs> Fuck off. I was even if I was to get you, I get it from somewhere more fun than fucking McDonald's. Two for one Big Macs at current Big Mac price isn't even worth it. Not even worth it, dog. Meat rotting away is fine, who cares? There's a red robin slut. I don't think we have Red Robin in Canada at all. Nah, listen, I bought a new computer. I bought a new mattress. I bought a bunch of new stuff. This is a, this is a, this is a month where we buy fucking nothing, dog. <laughs> we're not, we're not buying shit. There's a rice and beans boy for the next month. Pretty much. <sighs> Dude, the bed was long overdue. The bed was really overdue. No, why are Darren and Kyle fucking? No, no, we're not. We're not facilitating this. No double beds here. No double beds here, dog. Nah, homie. Pussy. Okay. Relax. Relax. There's a Geometry Dash streamer. What the fuck? Oh my god. This game is insane. Holy fucking shit. What a What is this get? No, nope, I'm out.
tell us. It's Geometry Dash. It's a game that I'm never going to play based on what tiny bit of gameplay I just saw. Fuck that. Fuck all that shit. <laughs> Hell no. This is fucking funny. Dude, someone went live on Twitch uh, with the notification text, Twitch streamer name, sent you a $118,000 donation. <laughs> oh man, apparently streamers are like, Apparently streamers have been putting out ones that are like fake gifted subs or like fake sent a message. A party time for mandatory fun chat. Time, Corpa, time for a pizza party, Corpa. I never liked streamers, true. Streamers are fucking shit bags. All of them. Every single one. No exceptions. Absolute piss men. Why is the main room so fucking ugly? Because it's a tribal colony? We tribal dog. We, we Neolithic out here. Internet panhandlers. Dude, that's literally what we are. There is oppressing the gay couple so nobody knows how to decorate. We Neolithic out here, boys. This is a Stardew Valley song. I like, I refuse to believe otherwise. This specific one, this is Stardew Valley shit.
front row. It's one little, it's one guy named Porky. Sorry, Porky. It's your unlucky day, motherfucker. Oh, fuck, he's got Molotov cocktails. Charge his ass! Just beat his ass, chat. Beat his ass to deads. Boo! These are barely even injuries. Boo! Pork is delicious. Pork is delicious. Who's talking shit on pork? You want to fucking fight? Who's talking shit? I saw they're making an isekai suicide squad. I am incredibly whelmed about it. Is it? Is it the Suicide Squad? Is it literally like Harley Quinn transported to another world? Fuck this. Is Joker and Harley transported to another world? Somebody, somebody actually found the hot take. Oh my, this is all the way back from 2006. No way, dog. Incredible. Somebody finally found the take that'll dunk on <laughs> legacy admissions. Uh, TLDR. TLDR. Um, alumni student practice in public schools is unconstitutional because it's a, it's a hereditary title of nobility.
actual fucking cosmic brain legal take. Dude, if that's the swing they take, it might actually work. No way. I never thought of that. Still less insane than any recent Supreme Court ruling. The, the current Supreme Court just doesn't give a fuck about standing. They just don't give a shit. <laughs> Anyone can sue over anything. Now you don't have to, you don't have to have standing to challenge something in the court. Unless you're trans. The current Supreme Court is just a meme. Biden should have packed it. Should have packed it. Standing is dumb. Standing is really fucking important. Standing is important so that like you don't get sued by some random person for having an abortion. All those like abortion laws that tried to dodge standing or tried to make themselves through the courts by giving anyone standing? Nah, nah, fuck that shit. No, standing is too fucking important. never get the damage personally right but it's important so that like random people don't just troll constitutional issues now that said republicans are kind of fucking doing that anyway so like <laughs> you don't get a lot of benefit out of it right now but Like, standing is super important. Standing is super important so that random people can't just file, like, statements to, like, your rape case. Like this, so that nobody, so that nobody can fucking do this. This is why standing is important. Um, the TLDR of this legal document is is that a uh, race realist slash like black people are genetically inferior uh you i guess youtuber he was previously a geneticist i believe um tried to intervene on the custodianship hearing of a mentally retarded woman Claiming that they were in love and she was going to have his baby. This is why standing is important in legal cases. This dude just got kicked out for not having standing. But like, if standing was not a legal concept, random people could like fucking file like this on like your rape case. Standing is super fucking important. Uh, 
Unless you want like a trial, like the trial for your rapist to turn into like 15 people filing motions to speak before the court about like the gays. Like, without standing, any court case essentially becomes a fucking city council meeting where anybody can show up and just speak about garbage. And I don't, I don't think we want that for, like, criminal cases. <laughs> Uh, city, no, anybody can go to any city council meeting. You don't have to be a resident. Yeah, imagine what sovereign citizens would do if standing weren't a thing. Imagine how fucking horrific they'd be. What the fuck? Why? Because developments in one city affect other cities? Like, this city I live in is only 40 minutes from Toronto. Toronto's housing policy probably has a larger impact on home pricing in my city than my city's housing policy. This is a tribal start. So, like... If you were a housing activist in my city and you really wanted to see prices go down, you would actually spend most of your effort um, trying to change housing policy in Toronto than here. It is a far more effective use of your time. I don't know how far 40 minutes is. Just fuck. So I live in this city. Toronto is all the way down here. My, I live here. Toronto is here. It would literally be more efficient for me to promote a housing policy in Toronto than in Barrie if I wanted to see Barrie's uh, home prices change. It would be significantly more efficient. A far better use of my time. That lake nice? Lake Simcoe is very nice. Yes, Lake Simcoe is very nice. Yes, I am a totally separate city. Uh, Barry's housing prices are largely a result of Toronto housing policy. Spend a lot of time by that lake if I lived that close to a nice lake. If I had money to do stuff at the lake, I would do stuff at the lake all the time. That kind of flies over my head. Why? Okay, it's very simple. It's very simple, okay? The entire southern segment of this fucking city, like all, all of this, all, most of this, is all Toronto commuters. They all live here because they can't afford to live here or here or here or here or here or here. This entire section of the city is a result of the 400 being a straight line to downtown Toronto. And as a result, housing unaffordability in Toronto 
pushes prices up in a sphere like this big. There are people who live in Guelph who commute to Toronto for work. I have met people who live in Kitchener who commute to Toronto for work. It's bad. This idea is just too derpy for me. It's not derpy, it's housing is too expensive and Toronto is where all the best jobs are. Easy clap. My boss drives in from Cambridge. Well, you work in Toronto? That whole area of nothing in between? Yeah, largely protected farmland. But here's, here's, here's the thing, okay? But you got it. Here's the thing. Toronto sucks. This, here's a density map of Toronto. Look at all the downtown areas that are just like incredibly fucking low density. Like Toronto is a city where you go from like 50 story condos to single family homes street by street. It's fucking garbage. Isn't downtown mostly office space? No! This place sucks. It sucks. Oh yeah, and all these like attached cities all drain money from like Toronto resources. It sucks. Toronto is a city that has no fucking density anywhere that it needs it that is like latched onto by like five fucking leech cities that are practically all suburb except Mississauga. Mississauga is its own whole ass city. Brampton pretends it's a city. You got like all of Markham and Richmond Hill and Vaughn. These should all be part of Toronto. These should all be part of Toronto and they should all be condos. Toronto sucks ass. It's like one of the worst design cities in the world. You've been to Boston. Yes, it's worse than Boston. Oh, Toronto is great to visit. Just don't ever fucking live there. You want to know what the, hold on, hold on. Yes, that's CAD. And it says one one bedroom. They literally mean mean. I mean, like it's got one detached room where you can sleep, and then the rest is just like the common apartment space.
2400 CAD, that sounds pretty good compared to San Francisco. You should compare our like tech worker prices or wages compared to San Francisco. Um, because we don't pay nearly the wages the US does in pretty much any major industry. <laughs> my mortgage is $750. Your mortgage is less than my rent. Fuck you. No one should, yeah, no one should compare themselves to San Francisco for anything. I pay 560 euros for 105 square meters. I don't know how to translate that into feet per aardvark or whatever. I live in a shared house with three other people and your mortgage costs less than my rent. sucks. Get me out of here. <coughs> oh, yeah! Dude, be so I forgot about that. My mom tried rereading the Game of Thrones series and got to that scene and was like, I had to put the book down. She's like, I don't remember that scene the first time I read it. There's a, yeah, there's a bunch of that shit in old Stephen King. I mean, it is a thing. Everybody knows the like really notorious scene in it. Pay 960 rent in North York. Did you win the lottery? Did you? Did you win the fucking lottery to pay 960 for? How long have you lived there? I know nothing about it, so I don't. It has a child gangbang. Yeah, the scene from it is horrific. The scene from it is fucked up. But like, everyone kind of expected it from Stephen fucking King. Yeah, George R. R. Martin is stinky, and a lot of his writing is stinky, and a lot of people like Game of Thrones specifically because it's very edgy. So like, I can see, I can absolutely see people just excusing it. If you want to, if you want to farm a whole bunch of free fucking downvotes right now, just go to the anime subreddit and and call the main character in Jobless Reincarnation a pedophile. Dude, if you guys want to see some wild ass shit. <laughs> it's 
some uh, some content was censored in episode zero, which just came out in the international version, uh, and that that content was uh, kind of pedophilic in nature. But uh, the best part is that like it's concerning. They felt the need to censor such a minor thing. If you want to go to the, the downvoted stuff, it's literally just like, change nothing of value. I'll care more when this molehill becomes a mountain. <laughs> Can they just not make this series so gross that censorship is even needed? You guys look kind of ridiculous. The main character is a pedophile, by the way. If you haven't seen this this show, oh no, they censored the groping of a child. The woke culture has gone too far. <laughs> like minus. Th Minus 37. <laughs> the R anime people are just okay with pedo stuff. The anime fandom in general is both okay with and sometimes actively promoting pedo stuff. It makes it very, very hard to be a fan of the medium. Makes it very hard to be a fan of the medium. It's rough. Mashal was pretty fan service free, which was great. I was super happy for it. But yeah, no, like the anime fandom has always been anywhere between uh, openly accepting to like passively, uh, anywhere between passively accepting to openly promoting like pedophilic stuff. I've been addicted to shitty self-published novels on Royal Road for a few months now and I've learned to not just even try reading anything with an anime cover art. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. It's rough. One of the first things you have to do when you watch anime is you have to kind of accept that there's a ton, a ton of gross pedos in the community. And uh, <laughs> people will largely carry water for them. Groping is super common in anime. It's really, really fucky. Um, the way that the industry is behold like largely beholden to otaku is really, really fucking shit and results in really, really shit product. Um, anybody that like tries to carry water for it as cultural differences is a fucking creep. It's tough. It's tough. If you want to be a fan of the media, here's, here's the problem. If you want to be a fan of the medium and like the sexualization is not a thing that you enjoy, then you essentially train yourself to ignore as much of the sexualization as possible. But that becomes such a well-practiced habit that you then start like not noticing 
when you otherwise would notice a lot of the really problematic tropes in Japanese media. Um, one of them being like over-sexualization of children, considering that like huge segments of anime characters are like 15 and 16 and extremely sexualized in their design. That's, that's a thing that like, if you want to watch anime, you just kind of have to get past because that like, they have to sell figures. So they do that with every fucking character. Which is big stinky. Japan aged raised. Okay, here's here's the thing. Japan raised age of consent recently, but that was federal age of consent. Prefectural age of consent was 16 or higher, and I think all but like one prefecture already. That was, a lot of that was federal law not being updated because prefectural law covered it already. Like states not updating laws because federal law already covered it. I have researched lighting. Now, we can't, we can barely mine, keep in mind. Like, we have very little we can do because it makes our people sad. So we can mine a little bit once in a while. So we're gonna have to keep our shit relatively minimal. Like, we're going after components and that's it for now. This is why we're waiting so hard on Devil Strand. That's true, Jim, but also at the same time, that means you're running into issues of adults making sexualized content for minors, which is like, It's rough. The entire, the entire anime industry is just kind of big sad. I saw, I saw a question about abortion clinics and Barry on the subreddit and had 40 comments. I knew it was because it was some fucking animal in the bottom. Just being an absolute piece of shit.
We got robot pup. Hey, has has Witch from Mercury been good? Is it good? Should I be watching it? Am I missing out right now? It was okay. Fuck. I heard it was more of a romance than a mecha, which is kind of what Gundam does nowadays. But also, like, is it good? Is it fucking good? Consensus was that it was kind of rushed. No! Sag. <clears throat> Still decent despite. Oh. Man, why they have to rush it so bad? It had so much potential. It had so much potent tile. Should have been four seasons. Fuck! That rushed? That's true, Bisu. The thing is, like, yeah. Fan, like, fan service in general bothers me. I, I almost couldn't watch Star Trek Enterprise because there was, like, some really aggressive fan service in the first episode. Listen, Yuro, I love barely animated Isekai trash. You can't come at Isekai in this stream. The transporter? No, uh, the decontamination scene between the chief engineer and T'Pol. <laughs> where they just had to sit, stand in a dark room in their underwear and slather lotion all over each other. And they were both slamming. And I was like, all right, this is too obvious. Fuck off. Okay, yeah. All of the Vulcan neuro pressure scenes between T'Pol and Tucker were like brutally aggressive fan service. Like they were trying real hard with that one. They rushed the school arc. Come on! Fuck. Ah, uh, see, Bisu, but that's the plot to Dr. Stone. And I love Dr. Stone. Don't do this to me. Data was fully functional. Yeah, the data and Yar scene. Ah, 
That was a great scene. I mean, now it's a classic. Like, I have programmed in multiple techniques. <laughs> I mean, nowadays that scene is iconic because of how corny it is, but like, bruh, they were trying to make you horny back in 1989. Jokes on them, I wasn't even born yet. True. True. My favorite scene from Enterprise will always be the scene where it's just a hard cut to Archer cutting a tree with a chainsaw and doing some weird alien ritual. Oh, that was so fucking funny. Oh, I don't know how many of you have heard this story, but um, Star Trek Voyager has a has a main character named Chakotay and he's Native American, but they hired like a, a, a Native American cultural like specialist to, to like make his character culturally sensitive and proper and like use real information and make sure that like they weren't doing uh, like ha 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 like uh, like Western engine bad guy stuff. Uh, except it turns out <laughs> that they found out during like the sixth season that the cultural sensitivity expert that they hired was a fucking fraud and was just making shit up. And so there's like six seasons of like horribly, horribly insensitive like spirit journey bullshit. It's so, it's so fucking funny. Yeah, he made a he made several documentaries on Native American culture for PBS. Um, <laughs> turns out, <laughs> turns out his ancestry was fake, and he didn't know shit. Yeah, I'm blowing my nose in your ears. Stay mad. But yeah, one of the one of the funniest fucking things was there was an episode where they got str where the crew of Voyager was stranded on a planet with no technology or anything. 
and there was a native population that was living in like the hunter-gatherer tribal era and Chakotay had a special connection to them because of his Native American roots. <laughs> it was so fucked up. <laughs> the man is a fucking spaceship commander. <laughs> and he had a he had a special connection to this <laughs> hunter gatherer tribe because of his Native American background. It was so fucking bad. It was, it was some of the worst TV I've ever seen. Like it was almost on the level of like Star Trek season one's Code of Honor episode. Yes, he was called out as an imposter in 1984, but that was kind of pre-internet era. Where you can't easily Google whether people are fakers. Shoo! <coughs> oh. oh, here you go. Uh, here's some more nose blowing. Ah. Oh, hold on, here it is again. That two block cell is a prison, yes. Dur's favorite TNG episode is the holodeck, holodeck detective story. Quog, there are like nine of those. Which one? There are so many of those. Dude, the one where Moriarty becomes self-aware is actually fucking incredible. Like, that's one of my favorite Star Trek TNG episodes. Don't come, like, don't talk shit. What about that one TNG episode with offensive Irish stereotypes? You mean Chief O'Brien? Stone series he was in DS9 too? Yeah. The colony of prissy people cloning themselves are the one with the peasants in the cargo hold with the goats? Yeah, that episode was ridiculous.
They moved, they moved O'Brien right from season one over to DS9. They moved Worf, in, I think it's season three. Might have been season two. I think they moved, I think Michael Dorn went over after TNG ended because there were two seasons where both were on the air at the same time. His wife is amazed he's eating real meat. That's a that's a common thing in um in Star Trek though. Like it's a rarity to eat real cooking. Because the replicator can just make food. That's a thing that comes up in TNG all the time. Or like a few times. Um, because Picard's family runs a vineyard quote unquote the old way and then refuse to have a replicator in the house so all their cooking is real uh, it's also a thing in DS9 a lot because Cisco's dad runs a restaurant with real food and real meat. He runs a Creole restaurant in New Orleans. Do they get paid? Nope, they just run it to run it. Don't think about the economy. Well, okay, so the economy gets explained at one point, okay? And the idea is the Federation core worlds, or at least humanity. Hold on one second. Dude, I don't know what set me off, but holy shit. Oh, okay. Star Trek exists in a post-scarcity society. Everything except for a few specific things are, like, completely trivial to get. Um, people no longer die of starvation. There's more than enough room for everyone to live, more or less, wherever they want. Um, the big thing is, is that humanity kind of came together after money was abolished and necessity was abolished and determined that like status was essentially your currency in the world your proficiency at whatever it is that you choose to do um because there was still societal shunning to just being a deadbeat so people are still productive because being productive and being good at your craft earns you like respect and prestige and so most of it functions like that but most people have like relatively minor ambitions where like they want to be a good journalist or they want to be a good cook or they want to run a good restaurant or they want to run like a a good like hotel or something like that um with like some people wanting to be politicians or whatever. Now there's only so many seats at a given day at that restaurant, right. But what that essentially means is that they're living in like, they're living in a gilded era of artisans, right? So even if there's only so many seats at a given day at that restaurant, there are like dozens of incredible restaurants everywhere because people can just focus on the quality of the craft. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know what set off my allergies, but it's something. Very neurotic, delicate, abrasive. No, fuck this guy. Let him bleed. It's literally down and out in the Magic Kingdom. I have not read that, but I've, been, I've meant to. It's essentially like, okay, so there is an underclass in the Federation, but most of it is just self-imposed through bad choices. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Hag. You can become an artisan overnight. You can replicate yourself an entire, like, you could you could replicate yourself an entire carpentry complex if you wanted to. You could have every single carpentry tool available to you overnight, about as easily as you could like order food on Uber Eats in the Federation. The thing is, is that there's no scarce, there's no scarcity of artisans. Like most of the Federation are now recreational artisans. Whether it's like art or music or furniture or wine or whatever. You can't clone more space and time for those people to work in. Right, but there's no lack of availability because like 80% of the population is this artisan class. Oh yes, there are also holodecks. You can like, if you don't want to make a permanent facility, you can literally like holodeck yourself. <laughs> a chemistry lab for the day. Not everyone gets a holodeck? Yeah, but there are enough holodecks that everyone gets reasonable use of a holodeck. The only reason holo suites were a thing people paid for on DS9 is because holo suites are a different thing than a holodeck, and also they're much shittier. They aren't a Federation holodeck. The programs for Hollow Suites literally come on discs. DS9 is also a Cardassian station. And it was a mining station for a fucking slave populace. Here's the thing, we're talking about the core worlds. Oh, do you want to know the answer to that, Vifera? Most apartments are like penthouse quality in the Federation. And the thing is, is that the Federation is also presupposed on the explorer nature of humanity. 
And so, like, huge segments of the population are constantly moving out to the frontier because they want to explore and settle the unknown. Humans are, are genetic, natural, like, naturally uh, pre-motivated explorers. So there's always enough space because people are always leaving Earth to go live on the frontier. Surely there must still, yes, there is the basement streamer class. The thing is, is that that's entirely self-inflicted. Like there is the deadbeat, I exist, I do nothing class. They all also live in very nice, Houses or buildings or apartments. They just don't do anything all day. The thing is, is that society still like, because it's a prestige economy, which is mostly what it is, you get looked at funny if you don't do anything. They'll go like, well, what do you do? And you'll be like, I don't do anything. I just hang out. People will be like, that's weird. I play guitar in my dog suit. Yeah, like. Achoo! Achoo! Uh. Achoo! Yeah, that like living in the trailer in the middle of the desert, that's like self-inflicted. Yes, one of the big reasons people leave the Federation Corps is, is like one of the big reasons. One is the natural explorer nature of humanity, but also um, they feel like their, their actions don't matter in the core and they want to leave their mark on the world. So they go for the frontier where they can be part of a smaller community and all of their actions are meaningful in the development of a new colony. But even those places are almost entirely post-scarcity, right? Like they have, they have like emergency replicators for foods there. They have more or less infinite power. They have Starfleet to babysit them. Uh, they're still mostly post-disease. Yeah, there's also the human trait of like back to basics. The people who want to get out to the rugged frontier to live a low amenity lifestyle. At least until Starfleet gets their ass kicked by plot goblins. Listen. Yeah. But that's because Starfleet intentionally cripples themselves by not developing warship class ships. Every, every, almost every ship in Starfleet is essentially like a luxury cruise liner where you work. Even like the oldest, shittiest ships in the fleet are like luxury mega yachts where you also work.
Yes, that's that's one of Star. Like every other major power out there is also capable of being post scarcity. He said most of them would rather be hilariously evil. Yeah. Lower Decks might be my favorite track. Lower Decks is actually fucking incredible. And I am super duper shocked at how much I like it. Okay, this is like literally true. I'm gonna read this first post in Vicious Link. That Federation vessels in Star Trek seem to experience bizarre malfunctions with such overwhelming frequency isn't just an artifact of the television serial format. Rather, it's because the Federation as a culture are a bunch of deranged hyper neophiles tooling around in ships packed full of beyond cutting edge tech they don't really understand. Endlessly frustrating if you have to fight them because they can pull an effectively unlimited number of bullshit space magic countermeasures out of their asses, but they're as likely as not to give themselves a lethal five dimensional wedgie in the process. All those rampant holograms and warp core malfunctions and accidentally traveling back in time incidents, it doesn't actually happen to anyone else. It's literally just Federation vessels that go off the rails like that and they do so on a fair Fairly regular basis. So to everyone else in the galaxy, all humans are basically Doc Brown. Vulcan to Science Academy, why do you need another warp core? Humans, we're gonna plug two of them together and see if we go twice as fast. VSA, last time we gave you a warp core, you threw it into a sun to see if the sun would go twice as fast. Ha ha ha, yeah, it did though. It exploded! It exploded twice as fast. Yes, Vulcans are part of the Federation. Klingons, okay, we don't get it. Vulcans, get what? Klingons, you Vulcans are a bunch of stuffy prisses, but you're also tougher, stronger, and smarter than humans in every single way. Why do you let them run your federation? Just, ha ha, look. This is a species where if you give them two warp cores, they don't do experiments on one and save the other for if the first one blows up. This is a species where if you give them two warp cores, they will ask for a third one, immediately plug all three into each other, punch a hole into an alternate universe where humans subscribe to an even more destructive ideological system, fight everyone in it because they're offended by that, steal their warp cores, plug those together, punch their way back here, then try to turn a nearby sun into a Taurus because that was what their initial scientific experiment was for and they didn't want to waste a trip. They did that last week. We have the write-up right here. It's getting published in about 600 scientific journals across 200 different disciplines because of how many established theories their ridiculous little expedition is just called into question. Also, they did turn that sun into a Taurus and nobody actually knows how. <laughs> so fucking funny. My favorite but it's so good. Let's talk about the USS Pegasus, test bed for the first Starfleet cloaking device. 
Here, we have a handful of humans working in secret to develop a cloaking device in violation of a treaty with the Romulans. They're playing catch up, trying to develop a technology other species have had for a century. What do they do? Do they decide to duplicate a Romulan cloaking device precisely to see if they can match what other species have? Nope. They decide, hey, while we're at it, while we're building our very first one of these things, just to find out if this is possible, let's see if we can make this thing phase us out of normal space so that we can fly through planets while we're invisible. But, but why, said the one Vulcan in the room, because that would fucking rule, said the humans, high-fiving each other and slamming cans of 24th century Red Bull. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yes, and this post was written before the spore drive was canon. Ah! Don't forget that the person who built the first warp drive was also literally a Doc Brown. Like Zephram Cochran? He was literally like a Midwest yeehaw and fires an, unath an unauthorized shuttle into space and then just disappears. <laughs> he just, a Amelia Earhart's it. He was playing Steppenwolf's fucking magic carpet ride when he blasted himself into space. Like, okay, this is what's so fucking funny. He, like, he achieved warp, and then instead of coming back, he was just like, all right, yeehaw, I'm out of here, and just fucked off into space. <laughs> Muffala? No! No! Get inside, everybody get inside. Is it only two? Is it only two pissed off Muffalo? Are we good? I don't want to fight two Muffalo. We're just gonna wait for him to go to sleep. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna wait. Nah, dog, we waiting inside. Nah, dog. Nah, they're in manhunter mode. I don't think they're gonna go after the dog. Cause they're manhunting. Yep, they don't care. It's not a man. Idiot.
No, you can't send your female colonists out there. Ah! Fuck! parts is, you know what the best evidence for this is? Deep Space Nine almost never broke down. Ah! I did see that celebrities are finally selling off their stupid fucking NFTs. Motherfuckers. given their NFTs for free. Some of them bought them. Hey, look at these boomalopes eating my fucking devil strand. Bruh! Quit eating my fucking devil strand. You know what? I don't care as long as I don't touch this crop. We have, we have the main crop and the decoy crop. Fence in your fields. Ah! We have a thing about that, I think. Might be just from expanded. Might not be in this. Fences. Disgusting. Fine. Ah! No! No fucking point. Whatever. Holy shit, Ned's almost psychic. It's almost time! Steam notification today. The summer Steam sale is on. Wow! That was Seth Green, Bisu. Three hours, not worth the effort to save you. Oh, you could get a bionic eye. Oh, I have to protect. Oh, God, no.
I missed an update to that story? Oh no. He bought a bag for like 300 grand? Jesus Christ. What a dumbass. All right, let's see what ability Ned gets first. Let's see if we get something useful or worthless. What did you get? Chunk skip. Wow. This sucks. Good job, Ned. You're fucking useless. You're fucking worthless, bud. It's useful if you don't build defenses. Well, we're eventually going to be building defenses. Not saves coming for a good roll. That seems lame. That just seems butt. Why is he only down to 62%? Are you serious? Oh, fuck. Convert! Only 14%? Fuck. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing, Bisu. That's exactly what's up. go didn't know that wasn't my door huh neat No good wardens, it sucks. Ah! Hopefully Sigma at least doesn't have particularly fucked up. God damn it. That sucks. That sucks real bad. Oh, I'm so stuffed up now. What the fuck? 
the cool Okay, how long is it going to take to convert Sigma? Oh my god, it's only 3% at a time. It's going to take forever! It's going to take forever! Fuck. Oh, that sucks. Devil Strand is getting there. It's going. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh. me Two percent at a time. Fuck. Social is always a skill I undervalue, and then I always need it, and I'm all, and I always feel stupid for not having it. Piss. Ah. All right, Suicide Squad Isekai seems- Oh, it's being made by Studio Wit. Oh, it'll be fucking interesting then. All right. Hi. Hi. between Kyle and Durr. Whack. Whack.
Dude, I was just stuffed up before, but now I got full on like allergy headache. What the f fuck? I gotta go buy some like reactant or something stupid. <laughs> This sucks. Holy moly. I'm trying to sneeze and it won't sneeze. It won't sneeze, chat. Chat, why sneeze? No go. Why sneeze? No go. You fucked so bad right now. Jesus. Holy moly. I just zoned out for like two minutes just focusing on a headache. I think I'm gonna get out of here anyway. I'm gonna walk to the convenience store. I'm gonna get some allergy pills. Fuck me. Alright. Thanks so much for coming out and watching you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're new to the stream and you had fun, you should give me a follow. I stream every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. You can also join my Discord. It's exclamation mark Discord in chat. I'm going to go get some, like, I don't know, reactant, I guess. I don't know anything about allergy meds. Have a good night, my dudes. I'll see all of you tomorrow. <laughs>